Hello. What if the amount of time it took for you to become a real medium is exactly proportionate to the time you're willing to invest in it, right? Sounds like a no brainer, but think about this. We all want to get there, don't we? We all want to like, are we there yet? Are we there? You know, we want to get there now, right? But how many of us are willing to actually roll our sleeves up, like right up here and get down into it and do the messy work of getting it wrong, turning up when you feel like absolute crap, facing the inner disappointments, the judgments, the all of those things. What about the, the real hard work and, and becoming a real medium or a real psychic is the degree to which you're willing to know yourself, know the good bits, the bad bits, the ugly bits, and learn that emotional literacy, uh, the emotional resilience. Because the only way we're going to be able to get more in touch with the spirit world, and I'm pointing up there, but you know, the spirit world's everywhere. The more we're going to get in touch with the spirit world is the degree to which we're in touch with ourselves because the spirit world happens through us. We go through where the instrument, where the, where the vehicle, if you like, that makes this happen. So the more we attune ourselves, it's a bit like the instrument we, and, and a lot of the times the pioneers and our mediumship ancestors refer to us as the instrument we completely are. The more we fine tune and take care of us, that means our emotional literacy, our, our ability to be able to put words to the feelings and impressions that we're getting, the, the amount of times we can handle a no and still get up and, and say it. What if everything you got as a medium, provided you were connected, was right? but sometimes it was the interpretation. Would that make you feel a little less fearful of getting a no, a little less fearful of standing up and saying it and being the instrument, being the vehicle through which the spirit world communicates to others to bring that healing? So how long does it take? It takes as long as you're willing to get in there and get mucky with it. That's it. You're going to get the scuffs and the scars. You're not going to be like the velveteen rabbit well, that was, you know, practically falling apart. Although sometimes you do feel like you're falling apart. I've got to be honest. But what if that was it? And doing that time and time again, if you really want it, you're going to get busy with it. You're going to get messy. It's going to be disappointing, but it's going to be fabulous as well. So that's how long it takes to become a real medium. And by the way, you're a real medium now. Okay. Like, like, <laughs> You are good enough right now. It's like if you're hungry for that next step, which you must be because you're watching this, okay? And if you do want that next step, if you do want a hand so the road isn't quite as bumpy, if you want to travel this road along the path that other people may have trodden, then come and work with me. We have a great group of people in Soul Squad, small group learning, or you can work one-on-one, -on -one, or there's even a course coming up very shortly to teach you the way to do that. And the way to do that is through your own soul. That's what I teach. It's not out there. It's not in books. It's not going to be activated. You're not an almond. It's through here, through your own soul. So if you're willing to do that, come and chat. Natasha says, couldn't agree more. Hello, Natasha. Happy Easter. I'm in the middle of working my way through a large bag of Hague's chocolate freckles and I'm just in chocolate delirium here. I hope you're having a great Easter. That's it. So the degree you're willing to be a real medium is the degree you're willing to get messy with it. All right. There's an easier way is you can come and work with a mentor to show you some of the potholes that has the map. Like don't go that way. There's dragons. But if you go this way, the dragons are smaller. Right. That's why working with a mentor or a small group is love to work with you. Let's have a chat. Enjoy your Easter eggs. Have a lovely time. Ciao.